Are you tired of your compost bins smelling less than ideal? Or maybe you're just not seeing the rich black gold you hoped for. What if I told you the secret to truly incredible compost isn't some fancy gadget but rather centuries-old wisdom? Prepare to be genuinely surprised by the shockingly simple yet incredibly effective composting methods of the Amish. Forget everything you think you know about composting. Because what if the most effective way to turn your scraps into garden gold has been right under our noses, practiced by a community often overlooked by modern society? The traditional composting methods utilized by the Amish reveal why their approach consistently yields superior results, and you'll gain insight into surprisingly simple, yet highly effective techniques that could revolutionize your own composting efforts. Beyond the Buggy, the Amish Composting Secret Modern composting often frustrates even the most dedicated gardeners. We invest in expensive tumblers, follow complicated ratios, and still end up with smelly, slimy messes or piles that never seem to break down properly. The problem isn't our dedication, it's our approach. We've overcomplicated what nature designed to be beautifully simple. The Amish have been creating exceptional compost for generations without pH meters, thermometers, or specialized bins. Their secret lies not in what they add to the process, but in what they don't. Where modern methods often focus on control and acceleration, Amish composting embraces natural timing and proven techniques passed down through centuries of agricultural success. What makes their results, you know, superior goes beyond just decomposition speed. Amish compost consistently produces that coveted dark crumbly texture with an earthy smell which signals rich microbial activity. More importantly, this compost creates soil that retains moisture better, supports robust plant growth, and maintains fertility season after season. Their gardens and farms really demonstrate the long-term benefits of soil that's been nourished with truly effective compost. The Power of Placement Location, Location, Composting the foundation of Amish composting success starts with strategic placement and design principles that work with natural forces rather than against them. Unlike the isolated corner where many of us stick our compost bins, Amish composting areas are carefully integrated into the farm's ecosystem. Their compost sites typically occupy slightly elevated ground with excellent drainage, which prevents the waterlogged conditions that create anaerobic decomposition and foul odors. The location receives morning sun but afternoon shade, creating the ideal temperature balance that encourages beneficial microorganisms while preventing the pile from drying out completely. Airflow becomes a natural design element rather than something requiring mechanical intervention. Simple wooden slat construction or, you know, strategically placed logs create air pockets throughout the pile without the need for expensive aeration systems. The Amish understand that proper decomposition requires oxygen, but they achieve this through thoughtful design rather than constant turning or specialized equipment. Accessibility plays a crucial role in their success. Compost areas are positioned for easy addition of materials and eventual removal of finished product, often near livestock areas where manure can be easily incorporated and close to gardens where the finished compost will be used. This integration reduces labor while ensuring the composting system remains an active, maintained part of daily farm operations. The unsung heroes microbes moisture and mixing. The Amish approach to microbial inoculation reveals one of their most overlooked secrets. Rather than purchasing expensive compost starters, they naturally introduce beneficial microorganisms by incorporating small amounts of rich soil from established areas, aged manure, or previously successful compost. This simple practice ensures each new pile begins with a robust community of decomposer organisms. Moisture management in Amish composting, well, it follows the squeeze test philosophy long before modern gardening even adopted it. Materials should feel like a wrung-out sponge, moist but not dripping, you know but their moisture strategy actually goes deeper than just water content. They layer materials to create natural moisture retention, using absorbent browns like straw and leaves to capture and hold moisture from kitchen scraps and fresh organic matter. The mixing philosophy honestly challenges modern composting dogma. 
Rather than the frequent turning schedules that many guides recommend, Amish composting employs strategic, less frequent mixing that maintains the pile's internal structure while still ensuring proper aeration. They understand that excessive disturbance can disrupt the microbial communities and temperature zones that really drive effective decomposition. Their layering technique, well, it creates natural mixing zones where materials break down at different rates, creating a diverse ecosystem within the pile. Coarse materials at the bottom provide drainage and air pockets, while alternating layers of nitrogen-rich and carbon-rich materials create the chemical balance needed for optimal decomposition, without requiring precise measurements or calculations. So, the genius of Amish composting really lies in its adaptability to available resources and seasonal changes. Unlike those rigid composting formulas you might have heard about, their approach flexibly incorporates whatever organic materials the farm produces. Kitchen scraps, crop residues, livestock bedding, and seasonal yard waste all find their place in the system through understanding, rather than relying on strict ratios. Farm waste, instead of being a disposal problem, actually becomes a composting asset. Corn stalks, spent garden plants, and even weeds pulled before they go to seed all contribute to the pile's diversity. This variety, honestly, creates complex nutrient profiles in the finished compost that single-source materials just can't match. Their seasonal approach recognizes that composting happens a bit differently in winter versus summer. Cold-weather piles focus on preparation and storage, building up materials that will rapidly activate once temperatures rise. Summer composting, on the other hand, takes advantage of the heat and increased microbial activity, with finished compost often ready in just a few months, rather than the full year many gardeners expect. Patience, you know, it actually becomes a tool rather than just a source of frustration. Amish composters, they really get that good compost can't be rushed. But, they've also developed systems that make sure production keeps going. By keeping multiple piles at different stages, finished compost is always available when it's needed, and there's no pressure to force any single pile to mature before it's ready. So, let's talk about your garden and some Amish-inspired practical takeaways. Integrating Amish composting principles into your own system really starts with assessing the location. You want to choose a spot with good drainage, morning sun, and, if possible, a bit of afternoon shade. If your current location doesn't quite meet these criteria, think about how you might tweak things, maybe by using shade cloth or improving drainage in a strategic way. When it comes to airflow, try building or modifying your composting system to encourage natural movement of air instead of relying on frequent turning. Even simple modifications, like putting drainage materials at the bottom or making air channels with branches, can make a big difference. The goal is to design your system so it works with natural processes, not so it constantly needs your intervention. Start each new pile with a handful of soil from your most fertile garden area or, you know, a shovel of aged manure if that's available. This simple step introduces the microbial diversity that really drives effective decomposition. Your goal is creating a living system, not just a pile of rotting materials. Embrace the variety of materials your property produces rather than, uh, seeking perfect ratios. Coffee grounds autumn leaves kitchen scraps and garden trimmings all contribute to compost diversity when layered thoughtfully. The key lies in observing how materials decompose and adjusting future piles based on results rather than following rigid formulas. So, Developing patience is honestly one of the most important composting skills you can have. Try planning for several piles or sections so you're never just waiting on a single batch to finish up. This method really helps cut down on the urge to rush things and it gives each pile the time it needs to build up that rich microbial community that, you know, creates truly exceptional compost. The long-term benefits of healthy, nutrient-rich composted soil, well, they go way beyond just one growing season. Plants that are grown in soil enriched with quality compost tend to show better disease resistance, improve drought tolerance, and enhance nutrient uptake. Your investment in solid composting techniques truly pays off in garden productivity 
and soil health for many years to come. So, are you ready to transform your composting game with these time-tested Amish techniques? Start by taking a look at your current setup and figuring out which principles you can put into action right away. And remember, the goal isn't perfection, it's really about working with natural processes to create the rich, living soil your garden deserves. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to the Living Soil Lab for more insights into traditional gardening wisdom that actually works. And you know, share this guide with fellow gardeners who are ready to discover just how effective these simple, proven methods can be. Your garden and your compost pile will thank you for embracing these centuries-old secrets to soil success.